Daytime baseball. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at bat. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Well, the mercury is still rising here at the ballpark. 93 degrees, our game time temperature. Oh, and no time to get him at first, not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. And that's a thumbs up from the bench. So they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final decision. The Yankees are challenging. OK, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well-used challenge. Okay, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned, and instead of having a base runner at first, the bases will now be empty. Here's Will Myers in past meetings with Jay Happ, just a one for nine. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Three. Fastball called for strike two. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. Danny, any thoughts? Well, keep an eye on the dynamic abilities of Will Myers. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he could do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Hunter Renfro is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Yankees. First pitch Left on its way. Brett Gardner. Fouled off. The 0-1 on its way. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. In there, strike one. Judge, a California-born ball player. He was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible Having home run to watch. Jim Carlos Stanton now. John Carlos Stanton. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One out, nobody on. <laughs> Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. 
with that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, we all know him. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He finished last season with the most home runs in the major leagues. He won the major league home run title. He can put a ball into orbit when he catches. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to First baseman Eric Hosmer is in in past meetings with Jay Happ. Just a one for 12 career line. Start the second with a curveball that's taken here for ball one. A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. A ball and a strike to count to Hosmer. Hit to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a curveball that started low and broke lower, ball one. Here's a line shot that's going to get over the head of Gregorius and on into left center for a base hit. Hey guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. The second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. Standing in now, Austin Hedges. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. The 1-1 one, one home. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. Chopped weakly to the left. Enduhar fields it cleanly. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Next to the plate for the Padres, Jose Perella. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Bouncer to the left side, and this gets right through him, and that may be a run. A dive, but it's off his glove. The runner from second crosses the plate. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Row. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Pause and the 0 2. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Digging in, Aaron Hicks. And they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Now, a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this one is gone. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field as the Yankees have tied things up. It's two to two. 
Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here. Now this one's crushed. Left field line. Gone! Wow, back to back to start the inning. Talk about putting a pitcher on notice. On the mound, you almost have to completely forget about those and try to convince yourself you're starting the inning over pressure. No one on, no one out. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. Will swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Hit high and deep to right center. Reyes has a beat on it. He's got it one away. Next for New York, Luke Boyd. First pitch coming, here it is. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reyes is right there as he takes it for the second out. At the plate, Gleyber Torres to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Two balls and a strike. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap or a home run. Pitches like that in a show get absolutely hammered. Here's Brett Gardner now and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. Two and zero oh to the Yankees left fielder. Well you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively and right now I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Here's the two and zero oh pitch to Gardner. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Torres, the runner at first with two gone. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Dan, he's got to find a way to get himself out of this. This is constant traffic, and here he finds himself in the second with two outs. And he's still giving up knocks. Boy, it's about trying to limit the pitch count. Also, only in the second inning here, and his pitch count's getting up, up, up. He's had a lot of traffic on the bases, so he really needs to get out of this one right here. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone, four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby they didn't tell me about? Sure looks that way. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. No, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. 
could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Three and one to him now. The three and one pitch. The short hit hard. And that's through for a hit. Success on a three and one count to keep the inning alive here. Dan, I know you fight as an offensive player to get in a 3-1 count. What's the tension level on the mound throwing this guy a 3-1 heater? That's one of the things you don't want to do. You have a game plan when you go into this, and your, the game plan normally is get ahead with strike one and make. Meanwhile now, this is a drive out the straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D. Rob? You come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a home run. Miguel Diaz enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope. Set to start the third as we're back on MLB Network from Suncrust Park near Atlanta. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Down the first baseline. Boy, fields it cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Third base number four. Here's Will Myers. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. In there, no balls in the strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Digging in for his second at bat, Hunter Renfro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Chased a bad one there, 1 1. You know, that can really be an effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Now the 2 1 pitch. Smoke toward the hole, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. And Eric Hosmer will have a chance next with two out. Uh, hey, Dero, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Missed with a breaking ball. The one two is laid off for ball two. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Three and two now. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Line drive to center field. Margo is there, and he has it for the first down. How about it? So coming to the plate, Gary Sanchez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. 
Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Into the box, Luke Boyd. A swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Standing in, Gleyber Torres. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box now, Brett Gardner, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Renfro is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Yanks able to add on one more via the... At the plate, Fren Moraes. We begin the top of the fourth. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Reyes is retired, and there's one away. So here's the Padres' DH. Austin Hedges. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One ball, one strike. Hit down the line at first. Voigt has it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Right there for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The 1-1. One -one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And it's fouled away. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Fouled away can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball that hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it fouling it away and that's in there so perhaps some life here with two men out I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats now a snap throw to first runner back standing Standing in now, Jose Perella, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. And he fouls this one off. Mejia leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the tough <gasps> Looking at a fastball to end the inning. 
Here's big Aaron Judd. Two home runs and two at bats so far, and looking to add to that here. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And she'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. That's one of the hardest things to do in this game. You know he's sitting fastball. That ball starts to slide away from him. You have to have some serious strong hands and wrists not to commit right there. Popped him up. Mejia waits on it. One away. Ready to take his hacks again. Didi Gregorius as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, two tough pitches right there and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in, Aaron Hicks. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Aaron Hicks. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. And a wide throw as this one gets by him at the bag. And he'll get in there safely. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A.B. first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box. And he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get. And, boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. The one one pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Myers moving to his right. Throw in time, and the side is retired. I'm digging in now for San Diego. Freddie Galvis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. Fouled off. High pop-up. Sanchez shading to his right. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Two runs, four hits, and one error for the Padres so far. Even one and one count to Margo. And it's fouled away. The one two. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. 
And he makes the throw to first. Margo is retired. Two down now. Here's Will Myers. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Again, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez, the American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. The next 0 2 stays alive, still 0 2. The 0 2 once more. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So striding in, Luke Boyd, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line, it's strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away. But the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. In order to play at this level, you've got to have unbelievable hand-eye coordination. And that pitch wasn't in the zone, and he was able to get perfect wood on that baseball. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Here comes the 0-1. Hot shot to third. He's got it. One there. Throw to first is going to be offline, so they just get the one on the play. Here's Brett Gardner now. Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. There goes Torres off of first. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. The right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Go! I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Here's big Aaron Judge. Line hard. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Smoke on the ground, left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So digging in now, Hunter Renfro last time through was a base hit. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Right over the middle, knee high. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. And it'll be the cleanup spot. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special.
Now here's the pitch. A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And he hung a curveball that time that stayed high. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0 and 2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Fran Moraes waits on deck. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Well, when you're down a bunch of runs, you know the last thing they want to do is. Now back, number 32. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Uh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Hard ground ball to third. And there's out number two. How about it? Striding forward now is the DH, Austin Hedges. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. 1 and 0 oh the count. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Oh. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. There's a hard hit ground ball. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. And a ball 1 0. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Hedges is off of first with two away. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. In now is the Yankees DH, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. And it's gone as they add still another. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Yeah, Matt, you know what, Debo? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game. Of oh, yeah. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. Now back into the box, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the 0 1. Popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. 
Dan, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hit for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that you said it, Nero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. Renfro moves over. He's got it one away. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Here's a fly ball well hit. Reyes giving chase. Two gone. Digging in and looking for more. Luke Boyd. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 1 1 home. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. The one two runner goes for second line drive to center field. Margo will get there and he puts it away to. Ready for another shot now Jose Perella he'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. Just oh, missed with a breaking ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. This one's down to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number 13. Into the box, Freddie Galvis. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Robertson pauses. Here it is. And that slider is almost in the dirt. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Manuel Margo, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. You go down 0 2 to a guy with this type of arsenal, man, you got to step out of the box, clear your head. And just fight. And they'll try oh. to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the first base line. And there's his first base hit in this one. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put away pitch, works the count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. In now, Will Myers. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 
We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Now the 0 2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in the Number 53 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 53. Now at the plate, Gleiber Torres. He's two for three thus far. And now a soft liner to the left side, but foul. Off the plate, one ball, one. One strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And that one just missed outside. Playing two balls, two strikes. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner he went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Hit sharply on the ground. Pro gets him two down. Aaron Judge will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. And it's gone. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. Jim Carlos Stanton now. As he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And that last at that when he went deep he turned around a pretty good fastball so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate to tighten oh, with that one three and oh Didi Gregorius would be next takes this the other way to right and Stanton's aboard it's a base hit Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's Didi Gregorius as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles on that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. This is pulled into right. And that's in there. Base hit. The relay. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Swing, high drive, deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. And the runner from second is in to score. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I'd say those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Now the runner's on his way home. A step off, and the runner's heading home. Looking to minimize the damage here. And now the runner breaks for the plate. Hit high and deep out to left. And this one is gone. A home run. 
Well, based on the past performances of both teams, we thought it might end like this. This was a mismatch on paper before the game, and now it's a mismatch on the field during the game. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his okay. hands back enough. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Ball even at two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Well, when a manager talks about hitting being contagious, that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off, and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, you've got three home runs in an inning, and your entire offense is off and running. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Margot there to put it away and finally put it. Now at the plate, Hunter Renfro. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. That wasn't struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eric Hosmer, is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And he takes ball one. This one for the shortstop Gregorius in time to first yes, and there are two away. Now battle. Standing Number in friend Reyes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Couldn't wait back a swing and a miss. Two out nobody on. That's taken now it's 0 and 2. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The next 0 2. Misses for ball one. Squared that one up just a little late. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Ah. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Striding into the box, Liber Torres. He went down on strikes last time up. He set and the pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently as we head toward a conclusion in this one I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs I mean strewn throughout the it screams to the modern day of baseball the three true outcomes these guys aren't worried about hitting singles they're trying to stop traffic over the fence. You, are, I, you can't be better said it. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two strike pitch no get me over curveballs no get me over change ups every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there. Now the pitch now a ball lined to the left side but foul. 
Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south, pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. Missed with a slider. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Margo facing back at the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he's looking to do something only a handful of players have ever done. Hit four home runs in a single game. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone! Well, there are good days, and then there are great days. When you hit four home runs in a game, I think you can say that's a great game. This has been incredible to watch. Jim Carlos Stanton now. He's a swing and miss at a first pick slider at strike one. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Renfro going back on it. That one's out of here. Back to back home run. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers. But there is a need for a short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. Now batting. The Into the box, Didi Gregorius fouled away. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Myers is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Aaron Hicks. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. First offering on its way. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Three runs already home here. High pop-up. Hosmer is under it. And that ends the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Austin Hedges. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Behind 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting. Aroldis Chapman answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. Chapman sets 0-2 on its way. Again, he sends it out of play. Here comes another 0-2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Jose Perella. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball one to start the at bat. Here comes the 1 0. Yep. High fastball is in there. Plane 11, one ball, one strike. 